At the Institute for Molecular Bioscience, we dare to imagine a better life for those with endometriosis and for their families. Endometriosis is a challenging disease for patients and also for research because it is so variable between patients. The impact of endometriosis extends beyond a patient's pain and distress. It can affect the way that they interact with their friends and family. It can affect them being able to achieve their goals, being able to start a family, and it also has a big impact on their mental well-being. Endometriosis is where tissue that is similar to the lining of the uterus is found in other parts of the body. It can be associated with inflammation and scar tissue, which can affect normal organ function and also organ mobility. You don't even realise you're experiencing your best days when you are. Uh, everything is running smoothly. My mental state is happy, bubbly, optimistic. <laughs> On my worst days, I'm drained. I have very low patience. Uh, and then in the worst of it, I could end up in so much pain that I can't walk or stand up straight. For people that have endometriosis, there is often a long time between first symptoms and when they have a formal diagnosis of disease. And it can be as long as seven to 12 years. It doesn't show up on a scan. It doesn't show up on a, a CT or an X-ray. If there's a way to diagnose people without having to cut them open, then I think it would enable more people to seek the help that they need. Endometriosis has been referred to as a silent epidemic due to the lack of disease awareness and acknowledgement of the impact that it has on the people with the disease and the society. There is a significant financial burden to the Australian economy due to endometriosis, and that equates to $7 billion annually. We're studying the genes and environmental factors that are impacting the risk and also contributing to variation in endometriosis. And by doing that, we're getting a better understanding of the disease biology. We believe that now is the time to tackle endometriosis in a much stronger way by combining the new technologies with our existing knowledge to really make a difference. I think research could it could definitely help reduce the amount of time that we are in pain. Research is fundamental to understanding about this condition. And that research needs young people coming into the field and people working together to develop the solutions. At the Institute for Molecular Bioscience, we dare to imagine... We dare to imagine a better life for those with endometriosis and their families.